now let's come back and see the oxygen we've already uh, done equation where we said uh, among oxygen and o3 which is the better oxidizing agent we said ozone so now let us learn the ozone properties or oxidizing properties so why is ozone as we said ozone dissociates into oxygen plus nascent oxygen done because of this nascent oxygen which okay i'm right in the bracket this nascent oxygen uh, because of the this release this tries to show its oxidizing property what what will it oxidize for example simple <coughs> let's take a uh, certain uh, this one and see it's going to oxidize your lead sulfide to lead sulfate we will write the reactions and see done it's going to convert silver into silver oxide ag2o then two valency of oxygen silver one valency now it also going to act as an oxidizing agent it will convert hcl to chlorine gas okay chloride to chlorine zero valency done when i have to see further it's going to convert potassium iodide to iodine iodine further gets converted into iodic acid this is iodic acid hio3 now if i have to take sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide this being an oxidizing agent because of this gets converted to sulfur trioxide simple isn't it so what are we going to do we are show, going to show the reactions right now and further if i have to take essential 2 it's going to get converted to SnCl4. Now let us see one example. Here chlorine valency is minus 1 into 2. So minus 2. This is plus 2. Here when it comes, it is minus 1 chlorine. 4 chlorines becomes minus 4. This is plus 4. So what happened from minus 4 to uh, minus 2 to minus 4. It has gone to minus 2 to minus 4. So increase in the oxidation number. That is what is its oxidizing properties, isn't it? Now, so let us write two, three reactions and see. Now, uh, when I have to take this lead sulfate, how is it going to do oxidize PBS when it combines with ozone? It's going to get converted into lead sulfide to lead sulfate. I said PBSO4, then ozone. It releases because that nascent oxygen has done its oxidizing uh, nature, and the leftover is oxygen, isn't it? So O2. That yes. Now if I have to write silver, let us write that reaction. Now silver is going to combine with ozone. So what do you get? The same concept. Ozone dissociates into oxygen, and <clears throat> silver gets or here it is zero oxidation state isn't it now here it gets converted to ag2o done here what is its valency this is minus two this is plus one so two uh, uh silver sir um plus two done <coughs> so uh, what are we saying it is increasing in oxidation number done okay from uh, zero to plus two now, if I have to do this, I've already done this reaction. I think one of the video in where I showed you uh, what is a uh, reaction of ozone with potassium iodide. I've already done that. Please watch that video. So, in the same way, you'll be writing for all the reactions. So, in the exam, how do they ask this? They're going to ask you, explain the oxidizing properties, right? So, they may give you any one reaction like this and try to write the product. Simple. Only thing is, you have to remember, everywhere, try to pick up here, HCl plus o, o, ozone gives me Cl2 plus your oxygen. Here also add that. You will get that oxygen. Here you will add ozone. You will get oxygen here. And KOH also. Uh, watch that video please. Sulfur dioxide plus ozone gives sulfur trioxide. And uh, SnCl2 plus sulfur. The procedure is the same. But product important is try to write the sulfide to sulfate silver to ag2o cl to this one you have to show the reactions in every stretch so this proves the oxidizing properties of ozone